Hi planner friends, it's Sydney from Sid Plans It Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be planning in my wellness planner for July 29th through August 4th. And I really have some goals for August. I know I've been like not doing the goals and like putting them off, whatever. Just I said that I wasn't going to do them. And I'm really, as much as I feel like I wasn't doing a great job of accomplishing them before, I feel like now that I'm not even setting goals like at all, I, I'm feeling very, like I'm just not getting anything done. Like I'm just feeling like I'm kind of wandering. I don't know. Like there's no, I'm not giving myself like a purpose for my days, I feel like. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get back to working out this week, even if it's literally just going on a walk. I know I said that last week, but the motivation is like there this week. Like it is there. We're, we're gonna do the dang thing. So I'm gonna use, I know I just used this sticker book, but I want to use this. These like, this bee, honey, this blue and yellow like honey set. I just feel like it's so cute. And yeah, I wanna use it. So, like sunflowers, I just love sunflowers. And yeah, so we're gonna take out one of each of these pages and we're gonna, we're gonna make these work. All right, how are you guys doing? I'm honestly shocked and odd and confused that it's about to be um, August. Like, wh what? What do you mean? Didn't didn't July like just start? I feel like I already said these like exact words to you at one point, but I'm just can't handle it. I don't understand how it's possible that this year is just like flying by and none of the months seem to take more than like a week. Like I, I just don't, I just don't get it. I just don't. Does anyone else feel like the world is just going so fast? I just don't understand. <laughs> I just don't get it. <sighs> so yeah, but like I said, I have actually at this point, when this video goes up, I haven't filmed it yet, but my plan is for my August goals video to go up before this video. Like the plan was for it to go up on Tuesday. So hopefully I actually got my life together and I did it. Um, <laughs> actually, I plan on filming it after this one, but this one was just, I assumed it wasn't gonna take a whole lot of time. So I figured I would just do it first. Um, yeah, so goals video should already be up. So you guys should know what my goals are, what I'm planning, trying to accomplish in um, August. Good Lord, I was like in this thing, you know? Jeez. Um, so hopefully that is a thing. But I just, I feel like I've been like winging it with everything in life right now and it's just not working so yeah we're gonna we're gonna set the goals we're gonna do the things because it just needs to be done it just needs to it just is how life is right now so yeah you guys will have to let me know down below have you have you done any goals are you setting any goals for august are there, are there things that you accomplished in July? Like, did you set goals in July and you accomplished them? Because if so, I'm proud of you. If not, hey, me neither. So <laughs> it is what it is. Whether you didn't set any or you set some and you didn't actually get them done, you know what? It doesn't, it, it's fine. It happens. It, it's how life goes sometimes. Don't beat yourself up. Just take a deep breath, reassess, and 
if you want to get back to it, get back to it. If there's other things that you need to focus on now instead, which is why you couldn't focus on those, then focus on those other things. Like that's, that's just how it is. You know, you don't always get all the things accomplished that you want because sometimes life has other plans. That's just how it goes. I think because these are paper, I'm just going to use them and I will write workouts over them if need be. That was not a pun that I meant to make, but it was a pun. Did you get it? <laughs> if need be, haha, ha, I'm so funny. Okay, sorry. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. These bumblebees, first of all, they don't even look like bumblebees. They look like big scary bees. I don't know, I don't really like them, but they fit like the vibes. So I feel like I need to use at least that one. That might be the, the only one though because they kind of creep me out a little bit. Um, let's see. I don't know what all I'm trying to do here. I feel like I'm trying to do too many things at once, which is why I'm like, what am I doing? Anyone else ever feel like that? That's actually how my last video went too. <laughs> I filmed my um, daily duo setup for the week, which I don't know how that video ended up being as long as it was because it didn't feel like it was taking me that long. Like I felt like I was moving along and like getting things done, but what do I know? Obviously when it comes to time. Um, but I also was having that struggle of like, I was trying to do way too many things at once <laughs> and it was not working. I think I'm going to layer this over this. That's kind of fun. Okay. Um, let's see. I feel like I want to fill in the bottom and then also the spine. Like I'm feeling really extra. What am I not? But <laughs> I'm feeling extra, extra today. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. I feel like, let's see. These are cut on an edge. So let's put these in. Let's just put them here actually because they're widow tiny. All right. Like part of me wants to just put like the flowers straight down the middle, but also would that be too much? I mean, maybe. I think I am going to put this here to bring some yellow over there. And then maybe just another like slice of lemon. No, that's weird. But we could do a slice of lemon here. And then maybe this like thing of honey over here. Oh, that's cute. I like that layering. And okay, this flower also is cut on an edge. So we'll put that down there. Um, I don't know what these sandals have to do with the rest of this stuff, but maybe we just put those down here. The sandals and the hat. I don't know. It's kind of random, but I don't hate it. And then something needs to go there. Hmm. Nope, that's too small. Let's see. I guess I could put another bumblebee. This one's not as creepy looking, I feel like. All right. Let's cut off all of these extra pieces here. I'm really contemplating. Okay, so on Monday, you would have seen my new planner video after the pen, at least if 
you wanted to watch it. It was up. And I'm really feeling like, excuse me. <laughs> I'm really thinking that maybe being on an academic, even though I'm not a teacher or a student, so there's really no reason for me to be on an academic year, but part of me kind of feels like I want to be on an academic calendar and I might just move to an academic calendar year. Like that might just be what I do. I don't know. We'll have to see like how this planner continues. If I really like the planner, then I'm going to continue to be on an academic year because that's the only way that planner comes because it's a teacher planner. But I feel like it would be good for me I don't know there was just maybe it's just because I'm so like nostalgic for like when I was in school like sometimes I just think to myself like what if I went back to school for something or like I went to grad school or whatever but I'm like I why would I what would I even do <laughs> I just sometimes like I think it's the ADHD I'm gonna be honest with you I miss the monotony I guess of being at school but I know that grad school would not be like monotonous like school was for me. <laughs> like I was, I was the kid in school that never had to study for anything and always got good grades. And I couldn't tell you how. It's just how my brain worked. But, I, but then I went to college and it was not easy so that was really fun and because under or because um the rest of school had been so easy for me I didn't have any study skills that was really fun um made it really like impossible being in college let me tell you college was very hard just because I hadn't had to I hadn't, there wasn't a reason or like a need at any point for me to learn any skills for studying because I never really needed to study for things. Um, so yeah, college was really hard. So I'm like, going to grad school would not probably be easy or beneficial to me. Um, at least not right now. But yeah, I, so I, all of that to say, I think that I would really am going to enjoy being on an academic calendar. But Again, we'll see because we all know that I am so inconsistent when it comes to planners. Well, catch-all planners specifically. I don't know what it is about a catch-all planner that I can't like just make a choice and stick with it, but it seems to be the way it's going but I really think that this one this one may be it you guys because I'm really liking it I don't know we'll kind of see what happens as we continue through it but I would not be mad to be on an academic year so instead of a calendar year so we'll see it's like it's like so ingrained in me to be on an academic year that like a calendar year just feels wrong to me. Maybe that's why I feel like the year is going so fast too, because I'm so used to being on an academic, like it's so ingrained, I feel like, to be on an academic year and I'm not anymore. I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's a stretch, but kind of how it feels. I think I need some washi. So let's get some, maybe a polka dot washi or hmm. actually I think I want grid which is up here and it's almost empty so hopefully there's enough for this spread I think there is but it's getting real close it's being out Like close enough to the point that I think I'm just going to put this in here and not mess with like ripping it. Hmm. 
Or maybe I will rip it, but I'll rip it more evenly so I can use the other half on the other side. Let's do that actually. I just like to put something in that upper box because I, I'm not going to use the full box. If you're new here, I use the top row for sleep and my sleep score. The middle or the second row I use for keeping track of what I eat, which last week I did not put breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I just was putting like dots for every time I ate. And I really like that. So I'm going to do that again. Like I'm not going to put any dots right now. I'm just going to, as the week goes on, fill it in. Um, because I, I really like it. Um, and then this section is for stats for my Apple watch. And this section is for, um, exercise, moving my body, those things, which I have not been doing, but we're going to get back to it. We're, we're going to, it's going to happen this week. I am determined. Um, yeah, that's fine. I could have probably just ended it at the edge of that sticker, but we'll just go with it since it goes over the line, but it's fine. And here, I'm gonna do this. I feel like I've been getting my head in frame a lot recently. If I have, I apologize. I did watch back some footage the other day and I had been wearing a hat and I definitely got the hat in the frame because sometimes I just forget that like the hat is gonna go out really far. <laughs> All right, let's get some boxes. Hopefully we have yellow and blue. All right, we have more yellow than we do blue. So we'll do four yellows and then those three blues that are left. And then because these are the massive dots, which I'm not using those, um, not in this spread at least, or this planner, um, we'll just get some dot markers for the stats. All right, so we have three of these blue ones. So we'll do blue, Oh wait, I messed that up, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't, okay. I was like, wait, hold on. No, I tried to mess it up when I got to this page, but I did not mess it up. All right, for a second I was like, wait, that feels like it's gonna be wrong, because it was gonna be wrong, but I got it and it's all good now. So this box, I will put like what kind of workout I did. So like if I did upper body, like what did I do? Did I push or did I pull? Did I do legs? Did I just like go on a walk? So I did cardio. Did I do abs? What did I do? Did I go to PT? <laughs> what, what happened? That's what goes in this box. And then I'll put like the actual, like the weight and the reps underneath and like the exercises that I did. Or if I went on a walk, I'll put like the time and the distance. And if I walked on the treadmill, I'll put like the uh, incline that I walked at and that kind of thing. Okay, this one, all right, so we have yellow for sure. This blue is pretty dark, but we might just use it. I just need like a piece of white paper. Here we go. It's a lot darker, but I think we're just gonna use it. It's gonna be okay. Um, this one is called Denim. This one is called Summer Sun. These are Zig Clean Color Dot Markers. And I'm gonna do these opposite of the boxes. So I will put, like I said, the stops from my Apple Watch. So um, calories exercise, standing hours, and then steps. Do 
Do I look back on this like weeks later? Not usually, but I like to see it like during the week. So yeah. And I know that if I had just like looked at it on my watch and didn't like write it down, I would have like no concept of it at all. So <laughs> that's why I make sure that I write it down. All right, I'm thinking that I might do like for this section, I might do it Okay, so like to do this day yellow and then blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. So I think I want to do the top part to like go with the pattern. So it'll be like a pattern all the way down. I just think it'll look really nice. So yellow, blue, yellow, blue. Okay, so this day will be yellow. Okay, so it's gonna match this row right now. I can do that. So what did I say? <laughs> what are the dates? 29, right? Yeah, 29 through four. Okay, so 29, so this is the 30th. Okay, I love writing with the dot side of these markers. It is so fun. You get like these fun, big, bubbly letters. I enjoy it. So 29, 30, 31. This is one, two, three. And then we'll do, hmm. I'm gonna be really extra. And we're gonna do July. August. To keep with the pattern. <laughs> I'll just use my pen. Being really extra, but you know what? Sometimes it's just more fun that way. Especially in a planner like this, those are so angled. Um, in a planner like this, like in a wellness planner, I feel like sometimes you just gotta be extra fun. Like this is so pretty and it's so, like I want to fill it in. I want to make sure that all of this is filled in this week because I want to look at it. And yeah, I'm a fan, definitely a fan of this one. All right. Let's put these pages back on the discs. And there we have it. My, whoa, spread for the week of July 29th through August 4th using Summer Elements from Love Love Posh. We have a cute blue and yellow bee lemonade sunflower theme going on and it just makes me really happy. So that's going to be all for me in this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.